Yo, what's up, everybody? Game Todd's TV here, and welcome to episode 21 of the Iron Man series. And for once, I'm doing a formal intro. I know it's it's weird with this series. I used to do it all the time. I wrote to 126 from scratch series, but not so much in this series. What am I talking about? Anyway, I just made uh, a shit ton of Slayer rings, so that's a thing. Uh, I don't think this will last me until I get a quest gate, but I won't have to make Slayer rings for a long time. And I plan to use Slayer rings a lot because fairy ring. I mean, that's the best way to get to a fairy ring for me. But uh, anyway, I want to start a goal for my account because if you guys know from my Road to 126 from Scratch series, uh, a diary cape was something that I got. I wouldn't say relatively early, but it was something that I was like really keen on getting. And if you look at this account and its stats, like on my main account, uh, if I had the stats like this, I had like all the hard diaries done. And on this account, I have just the RD easies done. And that's something that's really bothering me and something that I kind of want to banish if you will. I want to do diaries, all right? Now, I looked at the requirements and I can do, uh, for the most part, all the easies and the mediums. Uh, I do need a few quests to do for the mediums, but uh, that's something I want to do. I want to knock out all the medium diaries in this episode and I also want to reach uh, my Slayer to 70. Uh, now, once again, I did not really like my Road to 126 from Scratch series in that I literally would make 50 minute videos of me trying to get a goal done. I don't know, that just that just annoyed me. Um, I know that a lot of people liked the hour long videos, but they were just kind of frustrating because it would take me like four weeks to make a video. So I don't think I'm going to get all of this uh, episode, but these are just goals for the teacher. All the medium diaries for now, and then also 70 Slayer. Um, I'm only one requirement off of being able to do the Karamja Hards, which I plan to gem, uh, mine gem rocks for 60 mining in order to do the Lunar Diplomacy, because I need the Lunar Diplomacy quest to do Swan Song and no I don't need it for a swan song what am I talking about I need the learner diplomacy quest to do the super glass make to get 85 crafting for the fury I know I'm rambling hard but I've got my plans mapped out and uh, in order to do the Karam Jahards I need 100 combat and I'm 93 so I'm pretty close so my goal is to knock out as of this moment though is going to be all the mediums but those are some goals for the future 70 slayer and 100 combat so let's go ahead and uh, do some diaries I'm gonna have to do some quests as well so that's gonna suck but uh, I'm excited man I cannot wait to see two green X's hopefully at the end of this video on all of these diaries getting that gout tuber though for the fucking Karam diaries is gonna suck ass Shout out to my boy Tony for calling this dragon impling. I was actually doing the farm run. He PM'd me. So let's see what we get. 36 dragon bolt tips. Absolutely useless. And this should be 71 farming. Don't unlock anything but another farming level. That is always appreciated. I think it's 72, I believe I can plant calculots, which are pretty good. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get them in abundance until I do Zora. But, uh, you know, it's a nice plant, if you will. And... In four levels, I can plant magic trees, which is sexy. This should be the first of the quests completed that I need to do after this dialogue. Following of Soul's Bane, I also need to do um, Between a Rock, which is easy. Eagle's Peak, another easy one. One Small Favor, gonna suck. Uh, Rat Catcher is also gonna suck. And then I gotta do uh, Type of One Eye Trio and Tower of Life, and those two quests are easy, so. Souls Bay knocked out of the way, bring on the rock. Pretty easy quest, nice amount of experience there. Will I get any levels? No, but I also uh, got I got 51 smithing during the quest, so that's kind of cool. And just four more quests after the completion of the Eagle's Peak, but I'm not excited about the next quest because it is... One small favor. Ugh, kill me. We all know how much of a pain in the ass this quest is. I'm not even going to go into detail about it. But, um, get the key ring and we have just three quests left until I can start my diaries. There's a lot of dialogue at the end of this quest. Yo, something I want to talk to you guys about. This is completely irrelevant as we com get the, uh, congratulations message here. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Like, why are Bando's Godswords 10.3 mil? That's insane, dude. Like, they were 4 mil, like, two weeks ago. So that's crazy. If you had Bando's Godswords collected up, uh, congratulations, excuse me, a shit ton of money. I had one on my main account that I bought for, like, 3 mil, but what am I talking about? Um, since I did this quest, I can actually do Swan Song, which is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, because you can AFK Monkfish, and... I'm out of lobsters, because I fished a ton of lobsters a long time ago. I'm completely out of them. I've been using salmon as my food, which obviously, like, sucks ass. So I'm definitely going to be doing Swan Song. I don't know. I might actually do it now. Because um, it's only, like, a 20-minute quest. So, and, and it's a really good quest to knock out. But, of course, after this, we got Rat Catchers. We got um, Tower of Life. And then Taiwan Trio. So we're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and throw 
both of these antique lamps onto Herbalor. I think you get 10k each. Yes, we do. And we're going to get 67 Herbalor, which is very cool. Uh, can make Superstore Mix and Clean Lanthodimes. have a ton of Lanthodimes in my bank, so that's awesome. And we'll just throw this other one in to Herbalor because, you know, Iron Man mode, you got to put all your lamps and shit into Herbalor. So, Rat Catchers, here we go. Luckily, I have a full-grown cat, so this shouldn't be too stressful. Well, I lied. Uh, it was too tempting to not do Swan Song, uh, but there we go. Swan Song has been completed, and I can now fish Monkfish. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now, but this is, like, the best AFK thing in the game. Look how many people are here. Like, they're probably mostly Iron Man, because I think it's pretty shitty to do if you're not an Iron Man, but yeah, this is going to be amazing, and no longer will I have to use trash at food like look at my food like this is what i'm on right now I, I have nothing i have some raw lobsters that i could cook but i'm not going to bother with them now because i can just fish monkfish and that's gonna uh, skyrocket my fishing level and my cooking level because i'll be able to cook them so awesome quest to get done and out of the way with now, the first time i did this quest on my main account it was a breeze but this time it was actually really frustrating whenever i was uh, at that guardhouse but um there we go, rat catchers. Took me like an hour and a half, but it's done and over with now, and the other two I have left are pretty fast. Second to last quest here, the Type of Wanai Trio. Very good quest to get done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and speak to the brothers here. Uh, and we only have one quest left, as this douchebag is trying to freaking freeze me. Yo, I'm not looking forward to coming back to this place. Like, I, I need you guys to like, pause the video and like, do yourselves, not yourselves, do me, a, like a ritual man I need to get some good luck for the freaking gout tuber because I'm not looking forward to it anyway uh, talking to these three guys I'll get some experience I also got the rune spear KP which is what I was wanting to get in the first place because the only way to get a rune spear is from like mythical dragons and or uh, the rare drop table so there's really no guaranteed way of getting it um, but if you get it from this guy you can use a cleaning cloth on it and uh, you'll need it for a clue scroll so that's kind of cool uh, and I'll finally talk to this guy over here, and he will, I believe he sells Karambwanji, and he'll also give me some fishing XP. Yep. And he sells Karambwanji, which I can buy um, and use fairy rings to fish. Um, so that's another nice thing about the Slayer Ring, because they put a fairy ring right next to the fishing spot where I can use Karambwanji to catch raw Karambwan, which on top of being good food, obviously use them as combo food for things like Zora and other bosses. So awesome quest to knock out. Time for the Tower of Life. And then after that, we are going to fap the dick with some diaries, bro. Oh my gosh, it took all day, but it's done and over with now. I'm done questing. For the moment, I will have to do Lunar Diplomacy relatively soon, uh, but we're going to wait on that for a bit. Um, Tower of Life is finished. I can... Come back here and get, I think it's red spider eggs and unicorn horns. This is, that, this is the best place to get those secondaries. Uh, but I don't really care about that for now. I want to do diaries. So I think I'm just going to go uh, down the list um, and maybe skip Karamja. I don't know. We'll, we'll try Karamja in order, but if, if it takes me a long time to get the Gautuber. Oh, please. Here we are, knocking out the arty mediums. I didn't have to do the easies, of course, because I already had it. So go ahead and head over to Maho, uh, two pints, and peep the rewards. Then on top of the arty cloak two, we get 100 noted pure essence each day. That's actually not that bad. Um, it's pretty good. D didn't actually think about that. Uh, noted drops in the Tower of Life. Once again, I might consider doing that for um, red spider eggs. 10% uh, better chance at pickpocketing an arty. That's good for doing arty nights if I want to get like 99 thieving uh, eventually uh, once I get the rogue set. Uh, you can toggle the Ring of Life teleport to Ardo and don't really care about that. And oh, okay, so you get three teleports each day to the arty farming patch. I thought it was just one. I knew they changed it. Originally, it used to be. Uh, you get unlimited with the elite, one with the hard, one with the medium. And I thought they change it to like one with the medium and like five with the hard and unlimited with the elite, but I guess not. So three uh, teleports every day of the already farming patch. That's actually really good. I like that a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I, I do my farm runs as I get the seeds, so I don't do that many farm runs per day. Um, but still, um, this is a great cape, of course. By far, I think... Yeah, I think this is the best... Um, 
piece of equipment to wear um, from all the achievement diaries because it's just it's free and it's you know plus four magic attacks plus four prayer uh, great thing to bring in the wilderness we also got this uh, antique lamp we're gonna go ahead and throw this into herb lore of course and now we will move on to the desert diaries I want to give a big fuck you to Jagex for trolling me because uh, yeah I thought to complete this diary I was supposed to open this grand gold chest not the fucking sarcophagus and uh, I thought I was done but uh, yeah whatever I'm done now so we completed both of the diaries hmm I'm just gonna go ahead and run through this just to see if I can get the scepter if I go through all the if I loot all the the grand gold chest but I shall see you at jar with the loot or with the rewards just looking at the wiki I don't think the rewards are all that good but um, whatever uh, I can now charge a Pharaoh scepter with four charges um, Simon Templeton will purchase artifacts in banknote form. Useless. Never going back to the um, agility pyramid, and also I don't think I'm gonna ever do pyramid plunder. Desert goat horns are noted. That's kind of cool, but I'm never gonna use those. Uh, what you call it thingies um, for combat potions? The desert goat horns with Herlanders waste just make energy potions. Medium diaries I get. Um, Five charges with the Ferro Scepter, kind of nice ones again that I don't think I'll ever be doing. Pyramid Plunder, unless I need to get a Ferro Scepter for, I believe, the Master Clue or my POH. Um, and you get one free Teleport to Narda once a day. I mean, eh, whatever. I mean, the Easy Diaries are better than the, the Mediums, but I'll take it. The Amulet looks kind of cool. It's like a, a Budget Fury. Yeah, Budget Fury. Jax is out here forcing my hand on the Falador Medium Diary. I need to craft the fruit basket on the Faldor farm loom. In order to do that, I need six willow branches, because apparently willow branches make baskets. I don't I don't know. But um, I don't have any willow trees planted right now, and I also don't have any seeds, and the only place to get seeds is from miscellaneous. So I didn't want to collect it this early. It's only been like a week, so mm, that's unfortunate, but <sighs> Jagex does as Jagex does, right? Let's see what the allocation's looking like. We still got five, yeah, we still got 5.5 million. We still got a lot of money in there, so just uh, give me... I better get at least one Willow Seed from these. If I don't, I'm going to be so upset, and I don't really care about the herbs because it's not been that long at all. <laughs> this diary was a pain in the ass. Um, had to wait for the fucking... Uh, branches to make a, a basket yet yeah, six willow branches to make a little measly basket yeah whatever I don't care I'm, I'm glad to be done with that shit uh, but so let's go ahead and talk to Cerebral I get the Fally Shield and it can restore one quarter of your prayer this is for the easy diary I think it increases uh, access a shortcut to the Chaos Hole for Birth Orb if mm, I guess that's good for collecting wines of Zami but I can do that in the wilderness but eh, whatever um so that's all for the easy. That's pretty shitty. And then for the mediums, you unlock an upgraded version of the Fally Shield, naturally. Um, you can restore half your prayer points once a day. It's good for uh, runecrafting at the Abyss. If somebody tries to attack you, you can just recharge your prayer. You just die, I guess. Um, <laughs> provides a 10% experience boost at the Falador Farm. Okay, so I think I have to... Do I have to bring this with me? I wonder... Uh, then I also get an increased chance of finding a clue scroll from guards. It's not worth it, by the way, guys. Don't even bother doing medium clues at guards. Just get eclectic implings. Um, but the best thing from the Valley Mediums that I actually forgot about was the uh, shortcut within the Motherload Mine that makes me want to get 60 mining there. But I need the silver jewelry from the Gem Rocks. So we're going to be doing that to 60. So back to putting these into Herb Lore. And now we have the Fremenic Diary to do, and I made a mistake, okay? Well, not really, but uh, to slay a Brine Rat, you have to start the Olaf's quest. It didn't say that in the guy when I was checking that I need to complete it, so I just didn't know I had to do it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and knock it out. I have 77 agility, and the big thing with this quest is that there's an agility shortcut that can take hours and hours to get through if you have a shitty agility level, but I have a really, really high agility level for my level, so I should be able to breeze through this quest literally within 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and uh, slay a brine rat, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, that shit was easy. <laughs> Fuck! I swear, man, these freaking diaries better have some beasts and rewards. Oh, man. Pierre the Seer can bank items for me. Ooh. 
And an enchanted liar can hold an extra charge. I'm never even going to use that thing. Wow, thanks, indeed. Okay, let's try the mediums. Uh, one teleport once per day. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Uh, access a shortcut on miscellaneous docks. Uh, useless. Increased improval rating. Uh, okay. Is that it? No, oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, I'll take the experience. Might get a level out of this. Maybe. Darn. I don't know how this dragon ampling got in this room. I didn't even know they spawn over here, but thank you very much to the one and only, one and only, sorry, uh, Cavs. I'm very tired right now, so, yeah, we get, ha oh, let's go, three amulets of glories. The former best thing I could get, I think the best thing now for me, though, is, it's either dragon bones or snapdragon seeds, but these are still very much appreciated. Well, that was by far the uh, least stressful diary. I had most of the ones for the medium done, and the ones for the easies took me 10 minutes. It took me 15 minutes to do the entire easies and mediums. I could wish I could say that for uh, Fremenic and Fally. Those took me ages. But so let's go ahead and collect the rewards here. From what I can remember, they're they're decent, I guess. Um, I do get the headgear, of course, which is a light source. I do have the uh, fire-making capes. So that's not that useful. Um, and I have a chance of ex receiving an extra log when cutting normal trees. That is absolutely 100% useless. Um, <laughs> that is really stupid. Uh, 30 flax of bowstrings a day. I'd rather just do that myself to get experience in crafting. Uh, never going to use the coal truck. 5% uh, marks of grace. More marks of grace. That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, and then for the medium diaries, we get the um, upgraded candor and headgear. Uh, whatever. Uh, cutting maples in Sears Village now provides 10% more experience. When would I ever cut maples in Sears Village? I can't think of a time where I would be doing that. I would definitely be cutting oaks, potentially, but not maples. Um, can spin materials 33% faster at the spinning wheel. Still better to spin uh, either with the spell or in Lumbridge, even with that. Um, and the flax keeper can revert 60 per day. Cather, uh, Catherby Herb Patch provides 5%. There's a lot of freaking different wars in this one. That's pretty good. Uh, and the coal trucks holding 280. Once again, never going to use that. So, uh, Should get a Herb Lore level, though, thankfully, with this. Yes. 68. I can now make extra strong anti poison. And I think in one level I can make the notorious anti fire potions, which is going to be really good. And next on the list, unfortunately, is Karamja, so I have to grind out the motherfucking gout tuber just so I can exchange for a fucking machete. Holy shit. Finally. I've been here for, like, almost three hours. Oh, thank the Lord. Jesus. I'm so glad to be done with that annoying ass motherfucking diary. I teleported to the wrong goddamn place. Alright, let's go ahead and speak to Mrs. Pirate Jackie Fuckboy to see her rewards. This better be good, goddammit. This has definitely been, by far, the hardest diary I've done up until now, so... Okay, for the easy diaries, I get the... Uh... What? Okay, well, she didn't even tell me what I get, so that's annoying, but I can buy things in the Tishar place for a discounted price. I know that for a fact. For the medium tasks, I get... God, uh, why are you speaking like this? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I get from these uh, diaries. The only thing I care about in the Karamja section is I want to get the hearts done. Because once I get the hearts done, I get a bank, and I also get the lower level of the gem rock mine, which is really, really good, because silver jewelry, I think I've said this before. Um, but I can't do that, because I need to get a task from Duradel, and you need to be 100 combat for that, otherwise I can do everything else. So, that's something we're going to be doing here in the future, so. Throw these lamps in, and, what? 1,000? I thought it was 2,500. Man, these diaries suck. Alright, those were really, really easy, uh, and I'm pretty sure the rewards are decent, if I remember correctly. So let's speak to Hadius Cassantas. Gee, I wonder what that means. And peep the rewards. So for the easies, we unlock the Sexy Explorer's Ring, which can recharge half of your run energy twice per day and cast low-level alchemy without runes 30 times per day. For the mediums... I unlock the shortcut 
uh, to this shortcut over here, um, which is is pretty nice actually. But now I think about it, it's not really. But you know, it saves like 20 seconds. That's cool. Um, I can also restore half my energy and teleport to the Drainer Cabbage Patch three times a day. Hell yes, dude. They updated it along with the articles. I was talking about the articles when I did the Artie Diaries, how they changed the teleports, and they did it for this one, too. That's awesome, dude. I'm so happy about that. Uh, and then I talked about the shortcut under the Drainer Wall. Uh, these rewards are actually pretty good, uh, mainly for the Explorer's Ring. I think it gives plus one prayer as well. Uh, it does, so it's a decent ring, I guess, if you, if you don't really have anything to wear other than like maybe a Ring of Dueling or something or some sort of life. Room of life, maybe I don't know. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just do the Mauritania diary. Damn it! I had some clue scroll caskets in my bank, and I was planning to open them as I completed the diary, but I forgot. So let's just open them here. Trash and trash. Hey, shout out to this guy. This dude helped me complete the Trouble Brewing game to finish off this diary. I honestly don't know what the hell the rewards are. I don't really care about the rewards either. Once I do the hards, though, it'll be nice. But um, let's just let's just see. Um, Teleport to the Ectofuntus pit. I don't care. Uh, ooh, a chance that Gas will ignore you in the swamp and a 2.5% increase in Slayer XP. Okay. Very nice. Uh, what about for the mediums? I get five daily slime pit teleports. And uh, the bone meal for bones is actually pretty good. I, I actually like that. And we get a 5% increase in Slayer XP. Once again, these tasks are pretty shit until you unlock the hards because then you get 50% more runes from Barrows. And unfortunately for me though, this next diary that I'm going to be doing, which I believe is Varrock, yes, I have to get a uh, dig site pendant, which can be a big pain in the ass from the uh, uh, specimen table. Yes, let's go. It took me about mm, 30, 40 minutes. Happy days. Bam! Somehow I completed the diary despite being in Entrana. Alrighty then. <laughs> I did say I was only going to do the easy and the mediums, but I'm really tempted to do the Varrock cards because the only thing I need is 50 freaking construction. And I'm 41 and I can easily get that in like 20 minutes. I also need to get a little bit more kudos, but I can do that false on. So I have the requirements technically to, to do the Varal cards, it would just take me like an hour and a half of just doing some things. I might do that. Hmm. I'm not really sure. But for now, I'll put these lamps in Herblore as always. And uh, with the medium diaries, you don't really get anything too, too uh, good. But the one thing you do get that is good is the ability to buy uh, battle stats from Zaf. You can buy 30 of them with the Varak mediums. And if I do the Varak cards, like I said I really want to do, I can unlock uh, this cooking range, which is useless now because we have the Hasidious range. Um, but more importantly, instead of 30, you can buy 60 battle stabs. Will I be doing that? Well, you guys shall see in the next clip. The answer is yes, I am going for the Varrock cards, and I've just spent the past maybe five or six hours at the mushroom trees on Fossil Island. I'm now 81 woodcutting. I started at 79. That place is actually really good. For those of you guys who want to get kudos in order to either do the blast mine to kill, I think uh, you need some sort of kudos to kill wives. I don't know. Mainly the blast mine, I think, is the big thing you need kudos for. I really recommend doing mushroom trees because it's really good. Like 65k woodcutting speed per hour. Really AFK. You get free Mortmire fungus. And it's, it's just awesome. I mean, I could talk about it for, for hours. I got addicted to it. <laughs> uh, a few of my friends will know that because I told them about it. But anyway, these are the fossils I have now. Um, I have 8,500 8, Numi. I don't actually know what that's used for, but whatever. Uh, but I have 21 large fossils, 52 small fossils, 21 uh, medium fossils, and 7 rare fossils. I'm going to go ahead and take these to the museum. And this should get me the kudos I need. I only need like 25. I think I'm like 120. I'm either 138 out of 153 or 128 out of 153. So we're pretty close, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and cash all these in and see what kudos I end up getting. I cleared all my fossils, and I now have 164 museum kudos, so I have plenty enough for the diary. I also have a shit ton of experience lamps, and I'm going to go ahead and put all of these into Herblore, and I definitely will um, get 69 here. As you see, I can now make... Auntie Fire Patient! Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> for now, I can do the vera cards because i think the only thing that'll take me any time to do is get a skull scepter and um yeah as for everything else i think it's uh very easily completable well i completely forgot about uh, the 50 construction i need to get up but as i build this t 
antique table. We will now have it. I do have about uh, 300 more teak plates in the bank, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of these up at the table, see how high I can get. Ideally, I get 52, because at 52, as you can see, I can make mahogany tables, which uh, that's actually what I did on my main to get 99 construction when I was doing it on there. It's just a really good XP. I have a few mahogany uh, uh, logs in my bank that I can turn into planks and use them for construction in the future. But what I want to do before I finish up the diary is I want to kind of pimp out my house in a way. I want to put a glory on the wall. I want to put some teleport portals in there, uh, maybe an altar, just to kind of make it uh, something important because POHs are really, really OP, and um, in my opinion at least, and I haven't really touched my POH. Like it has, like if I scroll up, it has nothing in it, like at all. It has like a menagerie that I use for the diary, and then that's it. <laughs> so I want to put at least a glory in there, get some teleport rooms. I, obviously I can't do any of the pools yet, or like the jewelry box, but you know, that's something way in the future. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop some teleports and put my glory on the wall and then move on from there. Okay, I just pimped the fuck out of my crib. As you can see, I am now 53 construction and I have uh, the Lumbridge, Varrock, and Fally portal in one of my portal rooms. I have the Artie, Camelot, and Yano in another portal room, and then my third and final uh, portal room, I have uh, the Mauritian teleport, Karend, and this is Apatol. I was lucky enough to find the Incantations Teleportations book thing in like only 20 minutes. Shout out to my boy we be back, aka Gastriel, aka Iron Smith, and I also got my glory mounted in my POH. So I'm going to be making um, upgrades to this soon. But, you know, of course, you need, like, a very high construction level before I can make any further upgrades. You need, like, 80 just to put the basic thing in your house, like the jewelry box. And the pools, I think, are so high. I don't think I'm going to worry about any of that bullshit. I am just going to wait until I get uh, 82 before I do anything. So it's going to look like that until I'm 82. I may add another portal room because once I do Lunar Diplomacy and... There's another quest. No, I think it's just Lunar Diplomacy. Once I do Lunar Diplomacy, I might add the Lunar uh, Teleport spell as well as like Water Birth Island uh, and maybe Anacarl once I get the level for that. But otherwise, my house is going to look like that for the next long ass time until I get 82 construction. Once I speak to this guy and I have him redecorate my house to, I think it's Fancy, right? Fancy Stone? I, this better be it. If it's not it, I'm going to be mad. Yes! Let's go, boys! It's it. And the Varrock hards are done. Can you believe that? First hard diary completed. Oh, yes. Toby, I'm so happy to see you, buddy. Give me them rewards. Varrock armor three. I have a 10% chance of mining two wires at once up to Addy and a 10% chance of smelting two bars at once up to Adamant when using the Edgeville Furnace. But the best thing is Zach, Zach, Zaf will now stock 60 battle stats per day and I can also cook at the banking, or er, bank, what the fuck? I can access the bank at the cooking guild, but once again, I, I said this before and that is pretty much obsolete now that they added the OP method of cooking in Hosidius. But uh, I'm going to see and test if I can actually buy 60 per day. It might only be 30 because whenever I claim the stats before, I might have to re-log actually. We'll see. Is it going to be 30 or is it going to be 60? Yeah. Oh, it's 60. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, we're going to do that from, from now on, like every day. Uh, the green cash deck is going to go away soon. But boys, we have a hard diary done. Who would have thought, man? And I only have Western Wilderness done for all the mediums. So cannot wait to knock those out in the next video. And may God give you a lot of blowjobs in 2018.